Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. How you doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate when she, you know, just know that we're proud of you for going up there. Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago, so I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh, oh look, Max Amber. Is that your punk rock girl outfit? That was classic, watching you turn on your everyday hero Jefferson yesterday. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. No worries, because you're the one trying to fake it till you make it. At least you were smart enough to keep your big mouth shut in the principal's office. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. We'll chat later, Max. I shouldn't have said that. I need to rewind. How you doing, Maxine? I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate when she, you know, just know that we're proud of you for going up there. Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell, with Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. 
He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you! You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. Mm -mm. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now! Key brought. Now back to Chloe. Are you shitting me? Alyssa, watch out! Quit thinking, Max. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Brain. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! Get the treat, treat, boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace. But let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back.
Damn. I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy! Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. You scope the area while I hack his computer for an... Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. This place is nasty. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Ooh, Frank's stash. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. This is almost as good as a set of keys. Crappy wife out here. Must take him days to die. My blade will open any portal. Oh man. Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a stepfucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah, 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 as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh... Yes, Kate Marsh killed herself. She's dead. Such sad, okay? 
That doesn't make me feel better about my fucked up life, get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Oh my god, what is happening now? Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first! You know the rules, Dad! Max, tell him! Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well... I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that far back in breaks. time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. Crepes. I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13 year old self. If you want to eat. How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. Chloe That's is just so, so damn happy and carefree. Chef. And this is the last time unless I change it. Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. I am when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. I love William like he was in my own family. I won't let him die today. I won't. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. 
Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. What a mess we made. I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. Uh -huh. You can't hide from me forever. Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. I am when your mom is away. I'll let Boom. her know that. Disconnected. Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. Score. Hey, honey. I have no idea why the home phone didn't ring just now. I'm just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. <laughs> you are ridiculous. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar! You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! Obvious, but it will have to do. I knew this thing would come in handy. How did my keys get in here? And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. me hey honey I, I have no idea why the home phone didn't ring just now I'm just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys! Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and, and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. 
Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Wet and cold every day. But Never like Maxine. So that's why she was so I know, sorry, Mad Max. You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke them peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? Oh no, Th this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. Max Caulfield, taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor.
that episode was awesome. Wow. Okay, so going back to our choices. Actually, no. Before we do that, I want to. Exp I just. I, I'm so confused. Because we saved William's life, means that that we're now part of the Vortex Club. It doesn't look like we're friends with Warren. It. The Chloe's in a wheelchair. Like, what the hell went on? What did William do to us? Right? Anyone else get that feeling? It's weird. Okay. <laughs> so going to the choices now. Um, you left the money. It was for the handicap fund. I'm not stealing the money, man. Forty-six percent of people did. Wow. I don't know. I mean, it's it was like it was a tough one because it did would have actually helped Chloe. At the same time, just people need it, you know, a lot more. I don't know. You kiss Chloe. I feel like there was only one option on that one. Let's be honest, that was funny. I was not expecting that one. That was hilarious. Um, you sided with David. Twenty percent of people sided with David. I'm guessing that was just pure, like experimental wise but I think there was only one actual answer to there because Chloe for one is your friend David we have absolutely no idea what the hell he's doing I just felt like we needed some answers um, again one answer to that one you got Frank's dog hurt 6% of people decide to kill the dog or hurt the dog because I know it's like you could either throw it in the road or throw it at the parking lot. Come on, don't throw the, don't put the dog in the road, man. That's just awful. Um, Chloe has David's gun, or Frank has David's gun. Really? Huh? I feel like it was from. I don't know. I I don't remember that being a choice. Was that a choice? Points of Nathan. No, I literally have. No, really don't. Oh, you tried to shoot Frank? No. I don't know. I didn't realize that was an option. That's cool. Oh, he has David's gun. That's nice. If Frank had it, I feel like that would be very, very bad news. Um, Lisa is dead. Oh yes, that's right, the plant. The plant's called Lisa. Yeah, Lisa died. I don't know. Apparently I fed it too much water. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's a thing or not. Uh, you helped her with the exam, or you didn't? We could help him with the exam. I must have been blind. You are on the Vortex Club party list. I feel like that's going to be important later on. I feel like it's important. Uh, you erased some names, or you didn't change the vortex. Uh, I feel like it would be a bit suspicious if we did. Um, you erased the cops' answer phone message. Um, I don't know what that is. I have no idea. Was that in the house when we went back in time? I have no idea. Yeah, it was Alyssa. She seems to get in all the trouble. As soon as you see that girl, you gotta save her, man. Gotta save her. You warned. You warned the homeless woman. For what? What homeless woman? Didn't even see her. You took a photo in the past. I did. Mm, I feel like it's going to be important. Yeah. Le oh, I didn't even mark. Oh, I was meant to. I was meant to do that. I was trying to do that. I soon as I threw the keys out, and then because it was a time thing, I just didn't have time. Because that mark, I bet, would, would pop up later on. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that is episode 3, Chaos Theory. That was a good episode. I enjoyed that one. Um, I am so curious as to what's going to happen next. Because Chloe is now in the wheelchair. Like, and she's not got blue hair. And she looks genuinely happy. What the hell happened? <laughs> Like, I, I'm so curious to, to, to see what actually is going on. So, thank you all very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next episode of episode 4, which, what's it called?
Okay, that was cool. I forgot that that, that happened. <laughs> I was like, huh, what's this going to happen now? But apparently it's a vortex club by. It's probably a good thing our name's on the list. I feel like that's going to be... Actually, what would what happen if it wasn't on the list? Would it be completely different? Who knows? But, what I do know is that it's going to be awesome. Episode 4, The Dark Room. Ooh. Ooh. That's cool. So we might actually find out what happened to Rachel in this one. Yeah, never know. And Kate, of course. Not about Kate. How do you forget about Kate? That was awful. Wow. I'm a douche. Um. Can I just say I love the background change? Thank you very much for watching. See you guys in the next video.